Well, folks, welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. Today's going to be a little bit of a different video. Uh, tired of getting absolutely annihilated on some hobby boxes. If you missed last video and you want to see the worst hobby box of all time, I opened an $800 plus optic hobby box and got maybe $50 worth of cards. It was absolutely brutal, got absolutely dominated. Uh, and I said, you know what? Enough of that. We're going to go away from hobby boxes. And uh, lo and behold, look what just popped up on my doorstep today. Score a treat. Uh, what the heck is this? I'll tell you all about it here shortly. But I do have to tell you, last night, Kelsey, everyone's been talking about it. Kelsey's pulling fire. Kelsey's pulling fire. Case hits. Look at this. 28. Tw oh, you see that? 25. Yesterday it was 24. That, that means we hit a case hit last night. Uh, we not only hit a case hit, we also hit another video or another monster card, which I'll show right now. 500, 500, it'd be $500. Give $1 for all those cards. All right, this is the box. Gold. Yes! Gold, oh wait, oh wait! I think that's a case hit. I think it's a missed. I think it's a missed case hit. Be so I'm just going to say my spiel. If you guys love watching cards, if you love hanging out with uh, people on that also love you know cards, Whatnot is an awesome spot. We have an awesome community over there. And whether you want to get in a break or not, it's still a lot of fun just hanging out in the chat, watching cards get ripped. And like I said, we rip, you know, maybe a hobby box here. Throughout a night, we're ripping three, four, five, six, sometimes even 10 hobby boxes over there. So definitely give it a ch uh, check. We will be going live tomorrow night for our first ever um, big video. We're debuting the Dark Darkfinity. It's going to have a ceiling of $2,000. It's a box that is handcrafted by yours truly, and it will surely be a fun night. So definitely check that out. But uh, before that all happens, we got to look at what the heck I just bought here. So this is going to actually include, and this is one of the reasons why I bought it, this is include the 2024 score football trading card. So this is actually, surprisingly enough, I don't know why they decided this was the product, but this is the product with the first Panini uh, rookies. Now, obviously, they got gold packs and silver packs and all that stuff. I don't care about that crap. Come on. This is the actual product. We can actually buy this stuff. We don't have to go to the National and play uh, reindeer games to get that. So what do we got here? 40 packs per bundle, three cards per pack. So... Oh my gosh, am I going to be opening 40 pack? I did not realize that. That's going to be crazy. Exclusive Halloween pa parallels. All right, great, great, great. 120 cards. Let's see what's on the checklist. So very small checklist in the sense of what you can pull, but large checklist in the sense of players. 349 uh, different players or different cards in this set. 300 base pumpkins. I'm assuming those are the vets. 49 rising stars pumpkins. Those are probably the rookies. You got base bats. Base Trick or Treat, number to 99. Rising Star Bats, Rising Stars, Trick or Treat, number to 99. And that's it. That is all she wrote. These were right around 22 bucks with shipping and taxes and everything. It probably came out to be close to like $25. So these are like just a little bit more than a value pack and a little bit less than, oh my. I was thinking, guys, I bought all of these behind. I was thinking... I honestly was thinking about opening all these. When initially I bought this, I was like, oh, sick. I'm going to open like 10 of these things. No, we're doing one box. This is ridiculous. Uh, I'm probably going to give away a bunch of these on the show on Friday. So if you like what you see here, jump in the show. We always do a ton of giveaways. Uh, and one of those videos that you guys saw, that Stroud, which is like a 300, 400, however much, who knows how much that card's going to cost, even if it... Uh, if it gym mints, that was a free giveaway. 
That was a $250 box that we just gave away for free at the end of the night. So that's the other thing too. Say what you want about whatnot. I get it. Um, there are some really good breakers on there. There are some awesome people that add a lot of value. You just have to do your due diligence and check it out. And like I said, if you jump into our shows over there, we can do giveaways. We can do all sorts of fun stuff for even the lurkers. And I'm a huge, huge whatnot lurker. I jump into a lot of shows without actually jumping into breaks. Um, and it's fun. Okay. Oh, this might be tough. Only three cards. Oh, man. Uh, this might be a long video. Oh, these are paper thin, too. Holy cow. These are paper thin, but we're starting it off here with a Mr. Burrow on the front. And then these are the uh, first rookie, first look at the rookie cards. And this is the Halloween parallel. So these are the pumpkins. And these are the uh, Halloween parallels. So we got Mike Williams, not a rookie. And a Jaheim Bell for the Patriots there. All right, boys, that's enough. No one really cares. You know, it has to be... I don't know how they want you to open these packs. It has to be uh, the boys barking when I, as soon as I start a video. They weren't, they weren't doing anything for a while. Kate Otten, Bucky Irving for the Bucks. Oh, that's kind of sweet. He got drafted by the Bucks. His name is Bucky Irving. And David Montgomery there. Lance, come here. Lance. I'm telling you, when I tell you guys these packs are paper thin, I mean, that's not even the size of a 30 point, 35 point card. These, these cards are paper thin. Flipper Anderson, Bucky Irving again, Darnell Savage. All right, so let's think. Who are the big, who are the big rookies that everyone's going after this year, right? Caleb Williams, obviously number one. Then you got some pretty good wide receivers. I think Marvin Jer um, Harrison Jr. is going to be a big one that people are going after. Uh, we have yet to pull a big one yet. Javon Baker and Kurt Warner with a C, though. Uh, obviously, the quarterbacks, Bo Nix, uh, Drake May, uh, Daniels. Um, I'm probably missing one or two other QBs. J.J. McCarthy, didn't really miss him, but I just don't think he's going to be very good. Okay, what is going on right now? Uh, what is happening? These are my rookies so far. What What is happening here? There's like 50 of them. How am I only getting three? But who are you going to be chasing this upcoming season? We got uh, football actually is happening tonight. A little playoff football. I do not have the NFL network. I might have to. And there he is. Marvin Harrison Jr. My first Marvin Harrison Jr. card. Being a big Buckeyes fan, this is the guy I'm going to be chasing a lot this upcoming season. For sure. And that is sick. We'll take it. Never thought I would I would say I want the Cardinals in a break, but hey, the Cardinals, they're going to be a team that people are going to be going after just like they were in 2021. So it'll be fun. It will be cool. I got to get up to date on my uh, my new rookies. This is this guy again. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Where's a Dunze? Where, where, where are the quarterbacks? Panini. What are we doing? Do we get a number card in here, you think? Oh, another Hart Harrison. Not this time on the... Oh, that's a Puka. Look at that. Not in a rookie shield. Wow, my first Puka in a non-rookie shield. That is going to be weird, 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 weird for me to uh, get used to. Because we've never... Guys, this is our first time ever opening cards like throughout a season. So it's going to be so weird ripping all these 2023 rookies... And they're no rookies anymore. You know, like pulling our first vet base of Stroud is going to be very strange. I mean, it would probably still be someone, you know, like Purdy and Mahomes. They'll still be a D. And there he is, Jane Daniels, our first, our first rookie QB here for the Commanders. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to kind of see uh, how that goes. Ripping and finding guys that, you know, you're hunting for and now it's their second years. Uh, Chris Boswell here. Kean Coleman, all right. And Darius Slayer. We're starting to get a little bit. This guy's going to be really good with Dalton Kincaid. Him and Josh Allen, I think that's going to be a really fun matchup to see. Obviously, they got rid of Stefan Diggs. But uh, a lot of people are talking 
really highly about that guy in camp right now. So we'll see. People are also saying Justin Fields is playing really well in camp. So I cannot wait for the season to start. Kelsey's first game is coming up, so I'll be out there for preseason. Donald Driver. There's another Jaden Daniels and a CD. So I'll get my first look of how the Las Vegas Raiders are looking this upcoming season, which I am very excited for their offense and their defense. They've added they added good pieces on both sides. You know, they got rid of the massive contract that was Jimmy G that was just swallowing the hearts and souls out of the Raider fan base. Kool-Aid McKinch. McKinstry. I don't know this guy, but I like him. I like this guy. This might be my this might be my new guy that I'm going after just because of his name. Kool-Aid McKinstry. That is sweet. For the Saints. Alright. Alright, who else we got here? Who else we got? Andre. Another Kool-Aid and a Kyron Williams. Guys, these packs. This is going to take forever to open. I thought today was going to be kind of a fast... Well, no, I, I, I lied. I thought it was going to be a long video because I was going to open every single one of these boxes. But yeah, now Braylon A. Allen. These, these, are, these are 100... These are perfect like little giveaway ones. Because I bet... I bet like a Caleb Williams out of this, I bet it does... Gosh, it's so crazy to say this. But I bet you could sell a Caleb Williams out of this right now for like... At least seven to twenty dollars, like somewhere in that range. And look at that. Speak of the devil, my first non rookie CJ Stroud. Respect. There it is. Little Puka, little Siege. It's, I'm not great right now at comping like brand new product. I get pretty, I get pretty good at like remembering comps because I look at them so much. Uh, Jared Goff. But I would not be surprised if he threw one of these cards up right now of Caleb Williams and you know it you know buy it now at $19.99 and someone offers you like 15 bucks for it. Like I would not be surprised. Xavier Worthy, fastest guy in the draft. How do we think this guy's gonna do with Patty? What are we thinking? I've seen some I've seen some videos from camp. Looks like they're uh, definitely trying to utilize him. Uh, you know, try to isolate him They're, uh, in their offensive scheme. It'll be interesting to kind of see. Obviously, this guy's still going to be an absolute monster for them on all, on offense. Travis Kelsey, Braylon Allen again, and there's a Will Anderson Jr. I respect Will Anderson Jr., but I don't respect him enough to sleeve him. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is his second year card. Yes, I did sleeve Puka. I did sleeve Stroud. We're not sleeving him. And how about a our first punter here or kicker, Dustin Hopkins there. Devontae Walker, wide receiver for the Ravens, and a Dre Greenlaw. Was Dre the one that got like absolutely annihilated, like his knee? Or was that or did was he playing with a club? My maybe he was playing with a club. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. He like broke his arm and played with a club. Michael Pratt. No familiar with this guy, but oh my gosh. So now they have now they have Clifford and Pratt behind Jordan Love. Interesting. Right, we'll see if this guy actually makes the team or not. And there is Mr. Brycey Poo. A little Bryce Young there for the Panthers. It'll be interesting to see how he does this upcoming season. A lot, a lot of pressure for that guy to perform. I think a lot of people were kind of giving him the pass, you know, for uh, giving him the pass for the... Uh, for his rookie season, but you know, that is gone. That is long gone now. So now it's it's time to put up or shut up Mr. Bryce Young and show the people what you got. Quentin Williams, and how about a little Bo Nix there? Big cheese smile. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that exudes. That looks like I'm happy to be here. I mean, let's let's just look at the difference here. Which one, which one are you betting on to have a better NFL rookie season? First day school picture, happy to be here. Let's get to business. Ah, just saying, right? There's a little bit of a difference there in the, uh, the face. Uh, Bonex can prove me wrong. 
Bonex can go out there and light it up. But that that's a little bit more of a, I can't believe I actually got drafted. And there he is, Will Levis. Man, this is going to be weird. This is going to be weird seeing all my boys grow up. All my boys grow up, man. Uh, Jalen McMillan and a CJ Mosley there. See, all my boys grow up. I will be putting some of these. Uh, oh, is this the new Chiefs kicker? No, that's old school. What look at it? Come on, Brody. Uh, I will be putting some of these up on the eBay. So if you guys are interested in any players, uh, Michael Vick, uh, definitely check out our eBay link in the description down below. And if you guys are enjoying this video, just a nice little relaxing rip. New product, new cards. New. We haven't seen any numbered cards, by the way, right? I haven't missed any of those. I'm assuming those are going to look different, right? That's what we're thinking. Andre Johnson. Um, if you guys are enjoying the rip, drop a like down below. I do appreciate everyone, everyone from Tadpole Gang, everyone that's not Tadpole Gang, but maybe joining Tadpole Gang. I appreciate all the love that you guys showed on the last video. I called for it. I said, listen, I'm getting absolutely shellacked right now for your, your enjoyment, uh, your viewing pleasure. The least you can do right now uh, Braden Rice is drop a like on the video and like 350 of you guys did. I think we were trying to get to 500. We were close. That's fine. Work in progress. So we appreciate though. Yeah. Dropping likes on the video guys takes no time at all. Oh my God. Jaden Reed. Come on. Uh, takes no time at all and it helps us out a lot. So I do really appreciate it for everyone that does that. I really do. All right. Come on. Oh boy. Is this, is this going to be our numbered this might be our number pack this is the first time i really struggled come on show us something different here josh allen uh rice and a dk metcalf man i will say guys i don't know if i would buy this if you want some of the uh there's cooper nick bosa if you want some of the new you know, rookies or whatever, sure, why not? But not a lot here. Not a lot here. This definitely seems like a nice little giveaway product, right? We're just going to open these up. We're going to give all these packs away. And, uh, you know, if you hit a Caleb Williams, which we have yet to hit yet, uh, you make a couple bucks. If you hit a couple of the other rookie quarterbacks, you make a couple bucks. But ripping uh, 40 packs of this, Keon Coleman, uh, I, I do not recommend it, guys. I would not recommend ripping 40 packs of this because uh, we still have probably eight more and I was pretty much done ripping this product about five minutes ago, I think is when I hit my, uh... oh, there he is, Brock Bowers, the guy that is going to dominate the middle of the field for your Las Vegas Raiders. And just like that, the product brings me right back. No, but seriously, uh, 40 packs are ridiculous. I don't know why this is 40 packs. I don't think this is a, a product that was meant to be bought and ripped. Like the entire project. Oh, there's a little Bijan on the back. Nico, another Brock Bowers, this time on the bats. Wait, so what's the numbered one? So this is the Halloween parallel. So I don't think we've seen... Base trick or treat, rising stars trick or treat. Okay, so I, I just don't think, yeah, it's, it's bats and pumpkins. We haven't seen any trick or treat yet, which would be sad. You rip an entire, uh, you rip 40 cards of this and you don't get one trick or treat. To be fair, there's not that many of them. There's only 75, so probably is kind of hard to get a number card. But gosh darn it, are we going to try? Uh, Rondell Moore, Troy Franklin. All right, Mr. Troy, going to go out to Bo Nix and uh, see what they can do in in the Mile High City out in Denver. Where's my boy Ricky? That's the other guy I'm looking for. Where's my boy Ricky? Is Ricky in this set? Troy Franklin again, and Johnny Manziel is in it. What the heck is Johnny doing in 2024 product? Kind of weird. How are you putting Johnny in here and not Tebow? That's, that's the questions that people really want to know, right? Is that what we're all thinking? Uh, Tony Baselli. All right, now we're just going back to my childhood. 1996 Jacksonville Jaguars. That's when we moved from Ohio 
down to Florida. We moved during a hurricane and our power doors in our minivan broke. And so the door wouldn't stay shut. And so I spent the entire trip, I was, you know, what was I, third grade? Yeah, I was third grade. I spent the entire trip holding the door shut. So it wouldn't be flying open when we were driving. Good times. Uh, Higby, there's a little Penix and Rashad White. All right, so it looks like we have one pack left. No Caleb Williams sighting, uh, sighting so far and no numbered sighting. No Caleb Williams, no numbered. Last pack. If you made it this far, guys, let me know in the comments your favorite candy for Halloween. What's your favorite candy for Halloween? I'm going to go out. I'm just going to say one real quick. Bite the little miniature bite-sized Baby Ruth. Love them. Those are great. Can't get enough of them. And we're going to finish out with another Penix, this time on the bat design. And that is going to do it for this product. Our first look at 2024, the 2024 rookie class. Um, very interesting product. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Rating wise, this is probably like a C. C to D. I would say just too many packs. Honestly, if they would have, um, if they would have made this product, I guess the whole thing is for them to feel like they can charge $20. They have to give you a crap ton of cards. But I think a product like this would have been cool if it was like a $7 pack. A $7 pack with like 20 cards and you get like maybe half of these cards and then the other half or whatever. Like I think that's kind of cool. So ripping 120 cards, kind of crazy. But there you have it. Hope to see you guys all in the show uh, on Friday night. I don't know when I'm opening for tomorrow's YouTube video. I gotta figure that out, but I got stuff. And uh, thank you, like and subscribing. We appreciate you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping the packs.